The Indians in America, American Indians, the white people will come and say, we want to buy your land. The Indians will say, you want to buy land? They say, yes. They say, but we have wiped out all the buffaloes there. Why do you want to buy land that we've killed everything in it? They want to say, yeah, buy, give, give us the money, we'll take it, we'll go. And they went. They didn't know that Americans had developed the technology to build. Am I making sense? Because they were moving around. The Americans had decided. Were... So land wasn't a resource until agriculture came. Oil. I wish people knew when you were younger. Oil was a problem. In River State, once you started farming and oil came up, you couldn't farm anymore. That, 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 you can't go there, too much oil, until the internal combustion engine was created. It wasn't. We were using whale oil. People, they would kill whale, drain them for their oil, and they would use it for light lamps. Do you know that, plus, some of you remember plastic. Rubber band. You know what we call it rubber band? Do you know that rubber band today is not made out of rubber? We have stopped using rubber. Rubber band is made out of oil. Do you know what makes anything a resource is technology? And technology is not computers. Technology is the ability to use something better and faster than you used it yesterday. So if you are driving to this church and it takes you one hour, and you figure out a way of getting to church in 30 minutes, you've had a technological breakthrough. I will continue next week. Guys, we need to tap into this resourcefulness. Are you listening to me? We need to make it something that is priority for us. Are you listening to me? Because God himself, that's what he does. What is in your hand? What is in your house? What do you have? Miles tells the story of the woman who got fired and came to church crying. And he said, Madam, why are you crying? Say I lost my job. Said Madam, but I think I, I think I know you. You make very nice cookies. Said yeah. Said Madam, go home. You have a cooker. Yeah. Said I would even give you the first hundred dollars. Go and make cookies. I'm going to give it out for free. Giving it out for free. sooner or later, people will start to order for your cookies. They were using what was what in her house. Some of you can drive. Somebody else, somebody else is looking for a job, you can drive. You don't have a job, you don't have a banking job, but you can go to a bank manager and say, or to pastor, here, pastor, I know, you, I know I'm, I'm a liar, I don't have a job, but can I drive you? I don't know if you get the point I'm making. Don't pay me. I'm not giving you theory. Two of them, when I was in Jesus' embassy, this young guy came to me looking for a job. I said, there's a bank next door. Go there, offer your services free of charge. The guy said, Pastor, are you serious? I said, yes, go, go. He went. I want to work here. He said, he said we don't have any. He said, I don't want any salary. They, they thought he was mad. Same thing with the other guy who does movies. I've gotten his name now. Shino. When Shino heard that story, Shino went to mainframe in Lagos. He said, I want to work for you. They said, well, there's no job. He said, I'll work for free. They looked at him, they thought he was joking. He would come every day to work. Coming from first stack all the way to mainframe in Unilag. They will come, you will come. He will help them carry cameras. They help them do this. Finally, the owner of mainframe looked at him and said, we've never seen anybody like you. You know what? You're very resourceful. We're gonna pay for your school.